The newly redesigned Sonic Nuance Electronics TDI is an extremely durable and easy to use active DI with built-in tuner, offering buffered and isolated outputs, ideal for any unbalanced low or high impedance signal, including piezo pickups. Hi, I'm Sean Fairchild, and I'm gonna walk you through the feature set of this wonderful little Swiss Army knife of a pedal. I've been a TDI user since the very first iteration of the product, working closely with Sonic Nuance on subsequent versions and feature set. One attribute that has remained consistently excellent, of course, the most important when discussing a DI, is the almost impossibly quiet noise floor, super clean output the TDI sends through its buffered quarter inch, and balanced isolated XLR outs. Let's listen and compare. <laughs> Expensive, high quality, low noise and low distortion op amp based buffers are used for transparency and switching is accomplished via electromechanical relays that add zero distortion, contrasting with MOSFET switches, and that are rated with 10 million cycle lifetimes. This version of the TDI makes use of highly engineered electronic balancing compared with the previous version's passive Jensen transformer operation. However, a Jensen addition will be offered as an optional variant. The input impedance of the TDI is super high at 2 mega ohms, which means that you can drive it directly with any kind of pickup, from the most underwound, low output single coil to the loudest humbucker, active and passive output stages, even piezoelectric systems. If you've got something with a quarter inch out, the TDI will welcome it with open arms. I find the tuning function of the TDI to be nothing short of incredible for bass as well as guitar. I often find that with tuners, it just works better to play the 12 fret harmonics of my open strings as a bass player, especially my low B. But the TDI incorporates some form of magic that not only senses my open strings with impressive accuracy, but also does it really quickly. And of course it handles the higher frequencies of guitars and other stringed instruments with a plum. Finally, one of the coolest innovations on the TDI is its flexible powering scenario. It can be powered by either the 48 volt phantom power sent from a mixing desk, but is also pedal board friendly for bassists and guitarists with its typical 9 to 18 volt DC input. And best yet, it also comes equipped with a DC pass through to send the same input voltage to another pedal. The TDI is designed, assembled, and tested in the US and comes with a 3 year warranty. One thing I'd like to note is that SNE products use proprietary circuits and coding. No offshore OEM designs are utilized, as so many other companies, large and small, often do. You can find out more about it at sonicnuance.com. Thanks for watching, and check out the Sonic Nuance SBS Stereo Boost Selector as well.